Hello and welcome to our coverage of the WNBA on 2K Sports. We'll watch the Connecticut Sun in this one as they go up against the Las Vegas Aces. Thanks for joining us. I'm Blake Suniga here with Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz. And guys, we should be in for a fun one here with this meeting between two premier offenses. I'll tell you who it's not going to be fun for, the defenses. I mean, they're going to have their hands full trying to deal with all this firepower. It's going to be interesting to see which side can provide the most resistance defensively. Even the smallest impact on that end could sway this game. Plum gets the bucket. Pays great attention to detail. Gray is alert and constantly looking for open teammates. Outside Williams. Six to shoot. Pass to Thomas. Shoots from the high post. Las Vegas grabs the miss. She had all the space she needed, but just could not find the bottom of the bucket. Gray with it. Back to Plum. And there's the foul. It's on Thomas. That's her first foul. A quick foul to pick up right away here in the first quarter. And about one minute gone in the first quarter. Count that one. Nice soft touch from Plum on the floater. Not putting too much power on the ball. And here the Sun. It's a five-point game. Outside Williams. It's good, and she makes her first shot of the game. Very clever passing. She put that ball on a silver platter for her. Outside Plum. Back to Gray. Hamby sets a screen. And count it. The shot is good. She'll go to the line. With good size and athleticism for a point guard, Gray isn't afraid to challenge opponents and score buckets. If you want to check out some incredible dimes, just look up Chelsea Gray's highlight reel. She has mastered the no-look pass. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. In a survey of WNBA general managers, Chelsea Gray was voted the assist maker with the most flair. And they're not wrong. One of the most exciting players in the league. Gray is the type of player you pay to come see. A crowd favorite, just a fantastic point guard. Look at the soft touch, just a gentle little teardrop. And we're about two minutes into the first quarter. Ambia screen. Let's it go from 11. That one a little long. This offense is first miss. They've hit three of four to start. Pass to Bonner. Here's Thomas. Jones. Gray defending. Soft touch off the glass. A premier interior scorer, Jones's physical presence is enough to intimidate defenders. Gray outside. And here's Stokes. Kicks it out to Plum. Gray. Back to Plum. Yes! Great play by Chelsea Gray to set it up. Four or five shots have dropped for them already. Not a bad way to get things started. Thomas outside. Pass to Williams. It's hauled in by Chelsea Gray. There was just enough defensive pressure to get her off balance. To the middle. 
And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jones. That's her first foul. And they're one away from being in the penalty. They're going to have to be cautious from now on because the next one puts them on the line. Those free throws can really add up. Here's Plum. She's got seven. Pass to Hamby. From deep. And the aces, another three. They've been hot here early, dropping them in left and right. Yeah, we'll see how long they can keep it going. Thomas, left side. Thomas, good. An accurate distributor. Thomas keeps her head on a swivel. And look, if you're open, she'll find you. Now here's Plum. She's covered by Thomas. Plum gets the bucket. That's her fourth straight make right off the bat. She's setting a pretty high standard for herself. It's the type of start you hope for, no question. Now here's Thomas. Outside Williams. And a foul on Williams. That's her first foul. Way to get there first and absorb the contact. Yeah, clearly no flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Now here's Gray. Pass to Stokes. To the wing on the left. Now here's Plum. Beyond the arc. Rebounded by John Quell Jones. Hard to figure out why she didn't bury that one. Not a defender near her. Now here's Thomas. Gray defending. Back to Jones. That falls. Nice feed that time from Jasmine Thomas. Offensively, she can be the engine that drives them at any given moment. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drive. Really made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Since moving to Sin City in 2018, the Aces have transformed themselves into one of the WNBA's premier destinations. And I think a lot of it has to do with their newly remodeled home arena. Now here's Bonner. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Not much resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive mate in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. In fact, I'll just say it, they are automatic. Plum with it. She's covered by Thomas. Hamby. That one falls. Her second basket of the game. She was now two for three. Throwing into an elite franchise, Las Vegas has become a desired destination for players. Well, they got an awesome new owner. The players rave about their accommodations, the city. In courtside a game, you'll see stars like LeBron, CP3, I mean, huge names in the entertainment world as well. Las Vegas has been a huge success for the WNBA. And so here is Connecticut, trailing by five. Pass to Heidemann. Now Jones. It's good, and she makes the first shot of the game. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. It doesn't matter how good their perimeter defense is if they keep allowing easy looks inside. Now here's Plum. She's got nine. 
Hamby sets a screen. And Kelsey Plum, good for three. She is showing a killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend this lead. Pass to Heidemann. Back to Sims. The pick by Jones. Trying her luck from deep. And Odyssey Sims with the three. We don't see Sims take a huge volume of trays, but it looked like she wanted to respond there. Outside Williams. Back to Plum. Pass to Plazons. Shot clock at five. Oh! And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And for the teams that haven't quite met expectations, is this the point of the season where you start thinking about making trades or you wait a little bit longer? I mean, I've always believed that if you have the ability to improve your team, then you absolutely should. Even if that means shaking up the locker room. Too. Yeah, I know a lot of coaches that would prefer to work through it with the players they have but the front offices are typically a little more antsy to make a move. First free throw is good. So she gets them both. Incredibly, the Las Vegas franchise won three straight draft lotteries from 2017 to 2019. The Aces got the first overall pick. I mean, you talk about luck. Here's Heidemann. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Back to Sims. Kicks it out to Jones. Here's Carrington. And a miss there on the triple. The Aces with the lead. And the Aces made the most of those three number one overall picks. Well, you got Kelsey Plum, Jackie Young, really good WNBA players in their own right. But the big jackpot for Vegas was future MVP Asia Wilson. The 2018 pick is a player that you can really build a team around. And Las Vegas has done exactly that. Pass to Heidemann. Jones. And the call will be against Holmes. That is her first foul of the game. Fourteen foul. And here's Colson on the wing. Riquana Williams. Pass to Hamby. Down it goes, her third basket. He's now three for four. The Sun trailing. Here's Heidemann. Picked by Jones. Shot from 12. No good off the back of the rim. Outside, Young. Pass to Williams. Plays on. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. To the inside. And the basket by Holmes. Nice feed as Carrington finds a teammate with an even better look. That's just good offense. Here's Young. Let's the three fly. Buries it from three-point range. Boy, they're shooting the lights out from distance here early. Yeah, how do you stop this? I mean, it seems like they can't miss right now. Here's Harrington. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Pass to Heidemann. They waste no time getting those three points back. How about that for a response? We'll give you a three, and then we'll take it right back. It's turning into a three-point contest. Here's Colson. Off the left rim and out. Well, she's a player who, with a wide-open look, will rarely miss. 
There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and game clock. Down low. Heatman, great pass to set up the land. I love her confidence. We've seen it right from the opening tip. Here's Coulson. She's covered by Sims. Now Coulson. Good D by Odyssey Sims. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. The ace is on top, up by five. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. beginning in just a moment and uh, guys what's your take on the aces so far it's been a long-range battle for them and one they are winning some sharp shooting from deep a uh, big part of why they're up and so here's Connecticut it's a five-point game and here's Heidemann Up top, Bonner. Just five on the clock. Takes the three, and the three ball is good. The scouting report on Bonner is probably play off a bit, but when in rhythm, she is better as a shooter. One of the all-time great players in Phoenix Mercury history, Dewana Bonner. She spent her first 10 seasons in the Valley of the Sun and won two titles. You can't let your ego run on offense, and you can see she really wanted to answer that made three with a three of her own. Now here's Bonner. Carrington with the ball. Pass to Thomas. Heatman. And that misses. That would have put them up. And Juana Bonner was incredible with the Mercury, consistently great. Well, Bonner, she started her career coming off the bench, winning three Sixth Player of the Year awards, averaging double figures every season with the Mercury. And here's Carrington. Now here's Bonner. Jones outside. Tries it from 19. The shot misses. And Las Vegas the other way now. They've led by as much as 10. Up top, Plum. Pass to Williams. Now plays Ons. She's covered by Thomas. Back to Williams. Gray with it. From deep three-point range, it's rebounded by Thomas. Sometimes she could hit that deep three, but it's really not a great look for her. Not a very well-advised shot. No, I mean, the, no, no. I mean, even for her, that's too far out. Here's Las Vegas. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Gray, covered by Carrington. Outside Plum. Shot from 12. And the rebound goes to the Sun. Second quarter play with almost three minutes gone. Stokes with the rebound. Golden opportunity to finish the break, and she watches it. You simply can't be missing finishes like that. It's inexcusable. Now here's Gray, and there's the call on Alyssa Thomas. That'll be her second foul of the game. Substitution for the Sun, Courtney Williams. Jasmine Thomas. Here's Gray. He has six. Six on the shot clock. Right side plum. Rebounded by John Quell Jones. And Connecticut has possession. Trailing by five. Thomas. And just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Jones outside. 
Pass to Thomas. Shoots over Plum. Here's Jones in the hoop for her third make from the field. She's three for four thus far in the contest. That's some more rugged play from them inside. They have a decent edge in rebounds. And that hard work on the boards needs to continue. That could be what swings this game. Blazons can't get it to go. Wide open misses like that can be confidence shakers. Jones left side. Out of bounds, it'll be Ace's ball. Here's Gray. Uh, if you made me pick a state that is the capital of women's basketball, I'd have to go with Connecticut. They just love the game here. Now here's Williams. Pass to Plum from deep. It's rebounded by Alyssa Thomas. It's rare to see her come up empty on such a wide open look. Yes, it's good. The great state of Connecticut. They really support women's hoops. They do, and it's a big college team in this state. They've won a bunch of national titles, and of course the Sun are one of the best supported teams in the WNBA. And that one drops. Got to give Plum credit for fighting through the contact. That's easier said than done. Now a timeout called by timeout. Connecticut. Timeout. make substitutions. Thomas outside. Inside, Jones. That shot's good on the assist by Jasmine Thomas. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. No luck needed. It is working for sure. Five of their last six field goals, but they've come from inside the feet. Now here's Gray. She's got six. Up top, Williams. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Great to see Williams play assertive inside. This attitude is what helps her capitalize from there. Now here's Thomas. She's guarded by Plum. Thomas outside. Back to Williams. The shot comes out. Excellent D there from Kelsey Plum. Gray outside. Back to Plum. Three-pointer. Rebounded by John Quell Jones. Yeah, I mean, she has been way off the mark this quarter. It is getting rough. Pass to Thomas. To the paint. Here's Jones. 
The second chance effort. Good work there as it goes. Four of their last five makes came off a high-quality shot inside. And that's right out of the textbook. They are having their way down low right now. Now here's Gray. Outside Williams. As he flung from outside. Gets that one through the hole. Makes her 7 for 13 this game. That gets her going here in the second quarter after hitting two from long range in the first. Thomas left side. Pass to Bonner from outside the arc. The shot is good, and so is her shooting tonight. Three for four. The rapid fire threes coming from everywhere. I wasn't sure they should try to get the three right back like that, but hey, it worked out for them. Chelsea's one from outside. Good, and it's Chelsea Gray who picks up the assist. Yeah, she's played an important role in her offense today, and really without her, they might not have the lead right now. I'm out called the Sun. Side. Pass to Williams. Shoots the three. Doesn't go for her. And Las Vegas the other way now. They've led by as much as 10. Now Gray. Amby with the ball. Here's Stokes. Over to the left wing. Here's Colson. No good on the three. The Sun trailing. Bonner outside. Jacks up a three. Rebound by the Aces. Now here's Hamby. He's got seven. Young shot's good. Love the selfless, intelligent play by Handy. Puts the ball into the wide open shooter's hands. Well, you don't have to start to make a major impact on a game. And you know who's a great example of this? De'Erica Hamby. Named an all-star in 2021 without starting a single game. Now here's Bonner. Eight points for her. And Kia Stokes with the block. Outside Young. The shot, no good. Good D by Dewana Bonner. Drains it from nine feet away. That's why it's so hard to guard Bonner. Not afraid of the trees. She has a solid inside game. Here's Colson. She's covered by Sims. Knocked loose. Odyssey Sims with the steal. Pick by Jones. Sims with it. Hamby covering. And that one's good. Jones. 
you cannot stop both sides of the Sims pick and roll. She can dish, she can score. This time, she gave up the rock. Back to Gray. Shoots over Williams. Gray, no good. Bonner outside. With four on the clock. Doesn't get it to drop for her. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Space is ahead. They lead by two. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter going. Second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first two quarters. A fantastic game from Kelsey Plum in this one. She was successful just about every time she drove the lane in the first half. She was on a mission. It really was. You know, aggressive attacking basketball at its very best is what we just saw. It's just so fun to watch. We love it. Start of the third quarter here after a closely contested first half. Here's Thomas. Outside Williams. That shot's good on the assist by Jasmine Thomas. It used to be a weakness of her game, but Williams has worked on three-point shooting, and her percentages have increased each year in the league. Up top, Plum. She's covered by Thomas. Jackie Young from outside, and Jones pulls it down. Just like me, nine times out of ten, she's going to bury the three when she's left all alone like that. Pass to Thomas, and she drops it in from the low post. Beating opponents with physicality. I love that rugged, old-school style that Thomas can bust out. Now here's Gray. Here's Plum. And here's Young. Shot clock at six. Gray outside. It's Jasmine Thomas with the rebound. The Sun leading. And we're just about a minute and a half into this third quarter of basketball. Pass to Jones. And there's another one for the Sun. Up and in on every one of their first three shots to start this second half. Well, since an ownership change prior to the 2021 season, Las Vegas has set their sights on being the model franchise in the WNBA, making a major financial commitment. Now here's Gray. She's got six. They need this. And Jones pulls it down. They've yet to hit a slow start to the second half. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have, staying aggressive and playing in control. And the Aces are setting the standard in the WNBA, especially off the floor. Yeah, there's just so much going on. I mean, whether it's the incredible new practice gym that rivals any basketball facility out there or their big-time investment in the coaching position. You could also look at them expanding the front office, marketing and player development. I mean, the Aces are doing it the right way, and I would love to see other WNBA teams follow. A sluggish start to begin this second half. They're still scoreless. Courtney Williams for three, and she's good on the three ball. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic, and it's a big part of why they've been able to get good looks. Absolutely, the defense unable to react quickly enough to, to deal with their passer. Now a timeout called by Las Vegas.
to the middle. Plum, she's covered by Thomas. Back to Hamby. No good. Had a chance to end the run there. An ugly start to the second half. They're still scoreless in their first five attempts. Pass to Heidemann. Kelsey Blum with a steal. Here's Young. That drops and it comes off an assist from Kelsey Plum. Nice find from Plum. Willing to get her teammates involved. That's leadership right there. And no lack of aggression on that move. And that's good enough for the 2K drive. I like that determination. Trying to do everything to keep this game within reach. Now here's Thomas. Thomas left side. Five on the clock. Here's Jones. Misses off the right iron. The ace is trailing. John Quill Jones, league MVP back in 2021. The first international player, a first player outside of the United States to win the award in more than 10 years. Jones making a giant impact on both ends of the floor. Now here's Plaisons. Here's Williams. Hits the target from 18 feet. Such a skilled shooter. I'd say the mid-range J has been in Williams' arsenal for a while. And during that MVP season, Jonquil Jones did a little bit of everything. Yeah, traditional stats-wise, I mean, she led the league in rebounding, top five in scoring, top ten in blocks, and then some of the more advanced metrics, she led the league in defensive rating. So 2021, it was just an incredible season for Jones. Now here's Young. She has seven. Outside Williams. The open shot by Kelsey Plum. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. Really coming into her own the last couple of seasons, Kelsey Plum is now a problem for defenses. Pass to Heidemann. Let's go with a three. Another shot. And Thomas with the lay-in. Crash the boards with purpose right there. Some hard-earned second-chance points. Outside Young. Now here's Plum. Hamby sets a screen. From 12 feet out, Plum can't hit. Now Thomas. Boots over Plum. Thomas, no good. Here's Plum. Pass to Williams. That shot, no good. And it's the Sun taking it the other way. Thomas with the ball. Now Heidemann. Plays on covering. And that one's good. Heidemann. What a passing Three. display she's putting on. She is spoiling us today. Just another incredible assist for the highlight reel. And the reel is getting quite long. Now here's Williams. Pass to Plum. Down low. Here's Hamby. Nails the baby hook. And that's the Erica Hamby's favorite place to operate. Just terrific inside. Now a timeout called by Connecticut. For the first time ever, three-on-three three was at the games in 2021. Kelsey Plum, fantastic as part of the United States team, winning gold as part of the four-player squad.
Chris Sun making a change here. Substitution on the court. Side Sims, Holmes, Hamby grabs the miss. Here's Young. He's got seven. He plays on the screen. Inside. He uses the glass to finish the layup. Love seeing that kind of unselfish attitude. Jackie Young makes so many winning plays. Pass to Heidemann. Let's it go from deep. Rebound by the Aces. Now Colson. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Now here's Carrington. Defense right on her. Pass to Jones. And she makes good on the layup. These inside looks are what Jones is all about, and she knows how to outwork the defense. Outside Young. Ambia screen. The three. The three-pointer is on target. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Now here is Sims. And there's the pick. Can't hit that one. And that's a foul called on Odyssey Sims. That is her first foul of the game. Team foul. So the Aces making a change here. The Aces trailing. Pass to Williams. To the inside, Gray, and she hits it to tie up the game. They need to get way more disruptive defensively. They just can't keep allowing these easy buckets. You know, get a little physical, show some effort. Defensively, that's job number one. Effort, nothing easy inside. Now Holmes. Clock at six. And out of bounds, the Aces will take it. And the Sun making a change here. Williams. They've got the opportunity to get back the lead. They've been waiting for this chance. Pass to Gray for the lead. Another three for Las Vegas. An excellent cutter who plays well without the ball. Defenders have to lock in on Gray. Outside Sims. And here's Williams. Gray defending. They set the pick. Shot to stop the run. And Williams gets it to go. And she answers right back with a three of her own. Oh my! They're getting into it. We have got a duel shaping up right now. Now here's Gray. He's got a letter. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And here's the sun. Fires from 14. It falls for her fifth field goal of the night. Now shooting five for eight. Well, if you want to be a scoring guard like Williams, it helps tremendously when you can hit mid-range jumpers. And Chelsea Gray, here we go. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. That's on Courtney Williams. And she's gone one for one in the game so far at the line. At the line for two. The first free throw is good. Well, Gray shows effort and intensity on both offense and defense. I'd say she's one of the better two-way players in the league. And 
and she makes both free throws. Now here is Sims. Takes the three. Off target from downtown. Third quarter comes to a close, and a battle brings it to a tie. And do not go away, as we'll be back in just a few moments for our fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. Well, this is what being on the, the same page looks like. Fantastic feed and a heads-up play all around. And how can you not be a fan of a sequence like that? This is what beautiful basketball is all about. Yeah, unselfishness, just, just wonderful stuff. And thanks for joining us again as the fourth quarter of play is set to get rolling. It's been a close battle to this point. Gray outside. It's stolen by Jonquel Jones. Pass to Williams. The shot's good on the assist by Jonquel Jones. Yeah, she's really turned it around this half. Shooting at a high percentage from the field. Outside Williams. The bucket is good, and she'll have a chance for one more. That's on Jones. Attacks the foul with fearlessness. Williams refuses to shy away from contact. talk about the best teams in Sun history, I think that 2019 squad comes up first, going 23-11 in the regular season and then reaching the WNBA Finals. Now here is Sims. Pass to Jones. Bonner. Pick by Jones. Shoots over Williams. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Not only is Bonner a strong shooter, she knows how to get productive. Looks for any and every scoring chance. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jones. That's her third foul of the game. For the Sun in 2019, they got so close to their first championship. Yeah, Blake. I mean, they lost to Washington in the finals. That series going the full five games. Still, that 2019 team has a special place in the heart of Connecticut fans. Players like John Quill Jones, Courtney Williams, Alyssa Thomas, just a talented group that they still love in Connecticut. Four on the shot clock. Here's Colson. That shot off the mark. And it's the Sun taking it the other way. Boy, have they been hitting the glass hard or what? Kind of surprising it's such a tight game. They've had their chances. They're playing with passion. They've just got to tighten things up execution-wise. Here's Colson. Outside Williams. Pass to Colson. Amy right side. She was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. Second personal foul. Looking back to the last decade, the 2010s, it was an up and down 10 seasons for the Connecticut Sun, winning one playoff round in the first seven years of the 2010s. First one falls for her. And for Connecticut in the 2010s, they were really good in the back half of the decade. Yeah, 20-plus wins in the final three years of the 2010s, culminating with a finals appearance in 2019. The Sun franchise is really turning things around. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 
And you can trust Yerka Hamby to deliver all-out effort on the floor. She really puts in the work to make the most of her minutes, and she can be a difference maker for this team. Now here's Thomas. Here's Heidemann. Hits it from three-point range. She is starting to heat up from outside. That's her second three ball of the half. Outside Williams. Back to Plum. Count it. Good. She just plays the love of the game. You can see in how she prepares, her work ethic, the way she interacts with her teammates and players on other teams. When she hits the floor, she is all about the game of basketball. And the shot goes in. And old school lead guard Thomas prefers taking it to the rack. The ace is trailing. Outside Young. Pass to Plum. And here's Williams. Six to shoot. Back to Plum. From deep. Rebounded by John Quell Jones. She's really slowed down here in the second half. Hasn't converted a three-pointer yet after that tremendous first half. To the middle, Williams. And that comes off the assist by Erica Hamby. She always knows where her teammates are going to be, and she'll have that ball there waiting for them. Thomas, left side. Count it. Yes. You talk about it. Outside, inside, mid-range, all three levels, wherever. Jasmine can score it. Now here's Plum. She's covered by Thomas. Back to Plum. Williams. Pass to Plum. This one for three. Sinks the triple. I don't care how you look at it. She's having a great game from outside. The Sun leading. Thomas outside. Shoots over Plum. And a bit of a battle for the ball. The and the ball. official signals a jump ball there. Back to Thomas. Shot clock at six. Thomas, good. Keeps defenders uncomfortable, and I think it's because of Thomas's ability to play assertive but composed around the rim. Now here's Plum. Here's Stokes. No good with the layup. And here's Bonner. Thomas outside. Pass to Heidemann. Fires from deep. And right on through for another basket. She's got five made on five for nine shooting. Outside Williams. Back to Plum. No luck on that one. And Connecticut will come the other way. They hold a huge advantage on the boards. Yeah, they've really dominated the glass, and that's been the key to this lead. Jones inside. She's guarded by Plum. That's good by Jones. And with Jones, she has the threat of the three ball, and that's the basis for her game because it opens up the whole court for her on offense clears the way for monster monster point totals like tonight now here's plum Hamby misses here's heideman she's guarded by plum pass to thomas now here's thomas defense is right there a chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Thomas with the steal. Shot from 12. Rebound by the Aces. 
She's had an off game, but her team has been able to pick up the slack and get it done here today. Outside Williams. Back to Young. Pass to Plum. Drive to shoot. Here's Stokes. Looking to end the drought. And it's Jasmine Thomas with the rebound. And here the Sun. Here's Jones. Add another basket to her impressive total. It's her ninth against 12 attempts. Now a timeout called by Las Vegas. Yeah, I think the head coach saw too many easy buckets coming from inside and wanted to put a stop to it. I would think so. I would think so. If they keep giving up the kind of easy looks inside and that they have been, they're in big trouble. Too. And they've got to change something up. Let's see what they do. now trailing by 10 outside Williams the aces with another miss and that's been the story of the game the rebounding has been very one-sided and they've been on the winning end I'm a huge effort guy and because effort is one thing you can always control credit this lead to force of will now here's Williams down to five on the shot clock Thomas over Hamby. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. And it's the Aces with the ball. And it's a 10-point game. Outside Plum. Up top, Williams. Six on the shot clock. Connects from three-point range. One of the league's more lethal three-point shooters. Williams has both range and accuracy. Up top, Thomas. She's guarded by Plum. Pass to Williams. Now here's Thomas. Shoots over Williams. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. Here's Stokes, guarded by Jones. Outside Williams. Here's Hamby. She scores her fifth field goal, and she's taken nine shots to get there. What a moment. Hamby providing the huge hoop. And with Yerika's shooting ability, her height a fantastic option when it matters the most. Goes outside. That three off the mark. Now the aces with it. Plum with it. The three is up. Nails it! And she has brought them within two points! There she is! 
Plums again. Kelsey Plums, he's been the Final Four. He's made a huge basket in the WNBA. Lives for the important moments. And I think we'll see them burn uh, the clock a little bit here. Probably a smart move. Be calm, be patient. First team foul. And that's an intentional foul. Kelsey Plum, second personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for the sun. Jasmine Thomas taking two shots. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. A big-time player, Jasmine Thomas, ready for the moment. And so she drops them both, and it's a four-point ball game. That was a critical trip to the stripe. They have a two-possession lead now. Timeout called the Aces. Second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. For three, Erica Hamby. The Sun pull it in. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Yeah, they had to do that. You just can't let them dribble it out. Definitely. Got to stop the clock any way possible and just hope they short arm a few of their free throws. It's a good foul, and it's a good point in this situation to, to make them hit their shots. drops the first one and that puts them up five the competitive edge bonner gives her team simply cannot be overstated her intensity on the floor has already led her to multiple championships and so both free throws good this time and it's a six point ball game good work at the line to stretch that lead out a little bit three-pointer kelsey plum and bonner pulls it down and an intentional foul right there no choice but to foul there, but she's probably the last player they want to send to the line. Yeah, but you know, they didn't have the time to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority yeah, there. Yeah, that's a good point. They, they could not waste any more time. Shooting two. Good on the first. And that makes it a seven-point lead. So she gets them both, and it's an eight-point ball game. Outside Plum. 
Off target with the three. So we get to see the Sun get the win here. And in the end, a comfortable win in what was a pretty hostile environment. Yeah, you know, it's never going to be easy uh, on the road. They didn't have too many problems tonight. And that's a wrap, everyone.